Welcome back everybody, Rudy with Alpha MF and Investments and today I wanted to go over a really special video. Um, I've been saving this one for a little while trying to compile some more information. I've been watching the the market and everything and uh, on this particular set on the sealed product and the single cards and I, I think it's time for me to finally do this video. So I've been really going after and trying to expand on you know antiquities, sealed product, and the single products. So I have an amazing, amazing order. And if you guys want to do what you normally do, which is fact check me and do all that fun stuff and any little thing I get wrong, you know, I get attacked. Um, you can go on eBay right now and you guys can uh, look up this listing. You can go under sold listings and type in Antiquities Booster Box. And you can see the sold listing. And that's the one I just bought. So if you guys want to check it out, you can see it online. So really really amazing young woman her name is sarah who sold this to me and shipped this to me and i mean just look at the personalized touch she did i mean are you kidding me you never get this anymore the woman put a card inside the package like like almost like a thank you card never i mean i would have paid the eight grand for this look at that dude how, I mean, that'll, if that doesn't make you smile, you're not alive or your taco just is just so floppy, you just, it doesn't work anymore. You know, I mean, this is just, this is incredible. I've, I've, I can't remember the last time I bought or engaged in a high-end transaction and this was how it unfolded, especially on eBay. You know, and you guys see the date, this is actually uh, very, very recent. And, you know, she just sent me this nice card and you guys can read, she just really appreciates it. I took a chance. She's a new seller. Didn't have a lot of good photos or didn't have a big eBay account or feedback, you know, and she literally says, thank you for helping my dream of being a stay at home mom remain a reality. I mean, Sarah, I wish you the best. You have an amazing name. I seriously thank you for the amazing product, the amazing price, and just the shipping, the quality, the care that you did. I mean, just, just astonishing. Absolutely astonishing. So, look at that packaging. I, that's why I had to film this and show it. Like, when I opened the package, I was like, are you kidding me? Nobody ships like this anymore. I mean, I, I honestly, when I sell this to somebody else one day, I'm going to take the shipping label, and I'm just going to stick it on the box, and I'm going to drop the antiquities box in the blue in a blue mailbox, and I'm just going to throw it in the mail. I mean, this is, this is incredible. So, I thought it deserved a very special video. I mean, this is incredible. The condition of it... The seal is beautiful. I mean, this is just, everything about it is just incredible. Absolutely amazing. I am so grateful, Sarah. I, I really appreciate everything. And just, you guys can all see, I went on eBay. It was purchased for $8,000. I got $100 in eBay bucks cash back because that's the most you can get on a single transaction. So that dropped me to 7,900 cost basis. And of course, 2%, I get cash back on my credit card. So that drops my cost basis from, eight. you know, Another $150 off, so I paid approximately $7,750 for this booster box. And yeah, quite frankly, that is an incredibly good deal. In 2017, approaching 2018, there's the one little tear in the box because it's so old. And on this, on this age and this time and everything, see the box, you can definitely tell it's old, it's authentic, it's, it's definitely what I like to see. And, you know, for something this old, I mean, I still stand very clearly, and I'm going to go into this in this video. I stand very, very clearly with you guys that it's still underpriced. Hands MF and down, I don't care what anyone says, these boxes, think about it. Let's go over a few things, okay? Let, let me like, explain this stuff to you. First of all, you're looking at 60 booster packs. Antiquities was a 100-card set. Of the 100 cards in the set, there's, what, 10, 20 variants? You have a 100 card set. There's only about 20 rare cards, or, you know, back in the day they called them, I think it was U1. Because remember, it was all different degrees of common and uncommon, the print sheets and how often it showed up. So, I personally believe anything around 8,000 or less is a screaming buy on this product. Which brings me to the next thing, which is why also, this is a shout out for Joe at Dave and Adam's Card World, who also assisted me and gave me a very special pricing for their box. 
So, Joe, I really, really appreciate it. He's pretty much the head buyer for Dave and Adam's Card World for the Magic the Gathering department, uh, dealing with a lot of the high-end booster boxes and products. Um, beautiful box, fantastic condition. I mean, just, I, I really, oops, with some glare. Sorry, guys, you can't really see real well. So I, I really, really appreciate it, Joe. I mean, you gave me a, a fantastic price also. And, you know, these items are not easy to find. And I really want to make it clear of my rationale on what I think about these. So you guys have seen, I had an older video on this channel, probably, I think it was maybe what, five, six months ago, I think it's been now, where I talked about and I showed the all my complete antiquity sets. Remember, I went over the notebook and I was like, you know, I went over and I have like four or five complete sets of just pack fresh antiquities, you know. So we went over that and we talked about all that stuff in the past. But I wanted to get a little bit more clear on these. The fact that these boxes contain 60 sealed booster packs, currently on eBay, these booster packs sell for around $150 to $200 for a loose pack. I do not recommend really buying loose packs from random people on eBay because most likely they're pre-searched and you're probably not going to get a lot of anything good because normally the packs, the corners are very worn for people trying to push them and hit it with a bright light. But with that being said, even at $150 a booster pack, that marks the value of a booster box at around $9,000. Some booster packs sell on eBay when they sit a while for even $200 a booster pack, which would put a booster box at around $12,000 in 2017. Now, there's been a new kind of uh, a shift in things nowadays, and that is people are grading booster packs. So let me explain that a little bit further. Great, you can go on eBay right now. I tell everyone, pause the video, go to eBay, type in Antiquities Booster Pack, Go to sold eBay listings and look, you will see a graded, more than one graded Antiquities Booster Packs actually selling, not listed, sold on eBay for $400, $399. I, you know, that's really ridiculous to me, but let me explain that. If you sell 60 Booster Packs at $350 a piece after grading the Booster Pack, you are now looking at, I mean, a $21,000 Booster Box. If you sell them at $400 a booster pack, you're looking at around a $24,000 booster box. So besides taking that direction on why these are incredible investments, because the absolute rarity of these products is to the point now where it's just, you're not going to find them. They just don't, they're, the rarity of these items cannot be explained. I mean, unless you're dealing with ABU booster boxes or Arabian Nights, I mean, you know, Antiquities is the next rarest thing besides what? Portal 3 Kingdoms? You know, Legends, there's a slightly more amount of Legends boxes and pretty much Alpha Beta Unlimited. It's the only other rarest stuff. So, you know, when we, we go through all these kind of things, when you deal with a sealed product, those are the numbers you run. And I don't care what anyone says, there is no way in the next 5, 10, and 20 years these prices are going to shift in any other direction. Because what's happening is this is... I want to explain to everybody my opinion on what has been happening in the last 2, 3 years. Antiquities is known for a set with only pretty much two good cards, okay? And you're looking at the Workshop, Candelabra of Thanos. This has been known as a set that only has two good cards, and the rest of the set is garbage, nobody else wants it, nobody else cares about it, yada, yada, yada. Now, I've never fully agreed with that, but the market has always thought I was an idiot. So what's happening is we're having, in the last 12 months, a lot of what I like to call mid-range and low-end range rares are finally adjusting, whether it's due to reserve list buyouts or just due to just sheer scarcity. And we're starting to see that happen. Because again, for the last 10 years, Antiquities was like, eh, $6,000 booster boxes, $7,000. You know, you're pretty much playing the lottery for a workshop or a candelabra. Yeah, well, guess what? Now you have literally the factory, the winter version, at $100 a card that's unplayed. Now you're looking at mid-range cards. We're talking what? Power Artifact? What? Well, let's see if I can name them all. Transmute Artifact, Power Artifact, Tano's Coffin. Hold on, I'm going to get it. Hercules Recall. Obviously, the Archaeologist was to be 50. I used to buy these things all day long for $15 a piece, and now they're like $25 to $35. Um, I think, what? Hercules Recall? I already said that. What? Triskelion? Did I say that right? The Coffin? Yeah, I think it's about... I mean, you're dealing with another what? What was that? Five, six, seven cards that are now mid-range rares that are worth between what? I mean, I don't even know. They're worth, I mean, I'm not even sure what some of those things are worth now, but I think some of them are, they're averaging what? 20, 30, 40, $50 or something? 
I mean, you're having these numbers and these prices move. And they've finally adjusted because I've always felt they're undervalued. Now, I want to also focus on what I like to call low-end. Kind of not even the mid-range stuff. Not even the high. Like, you had a lot of low-end rares. You had a lot. These are low-end rares. Uh, These used to be considered low-end rares. You know, these are all my extra antiquity cards. These are ones that are not in my sets. So, for example, you know, out of nowhere, these low-end rares, which were literally all $5, $10, $15 for ages, are moving $20, $30, $40, $50 a card. So, what's happening is a set that was only known to have two good cards in it is now having, I mean, mid-range rares. You've got another six or seven cards that are worth $20 to $50 a card. Plus, you have a ton of low-end rares. We're talking, do I have any low end? I think, I would consider, I don't know, Ivory Towers. You know, I mean, I think, what, Triskelion? These, these aren't even, I mean, the first printing, if you guys want to argue about uh, if Reserve List was reprinted, original printing of these cards, look at the price of a, Tris, what are these, Triskelions? I, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Otherwise, I'm going to get slaughtered in the comment section. But it's cool. Anyways, fourth edition version of this card is what, 50 cents? Antiquities version of this card is what, 30 bucks? 40 bucks now? 50? I don't know what it is now. Same thing with the coffin. The coffins were what? $20 cards for the longest time. You know, what? Suchis? How long were... I mean, these things were what? 8 to $10 cards forever. So, and, you know, what's happening is a lot of these non-mainstream cards have finally gained traction. And I don't think it's due to demand. I think it's due to just pure scarcity. And, of course, last year with reserve list buyouts, when everybody went bonkers and just went down the list and bought everything out, the market dried up so fast... And even when it retraces down, the card price is stabilized. They never go back to their old low. So not only do you have that happening, but now we have a lot of low-end cards. Come on, let's talk about uh, what? Hello, Shatterstorm? Are you kidding me? $10 Shatterstorm now? What, Urza's what, Miter? What, you've got all the factory cards? You've got what, Gaia's, uh, what, Gaia's Avengers? I mean, you've got all, what, Gate to Phyrexia? You have all these other random cards random cards that were literally a dollar two dollar cards that nobody cared about that are now ten dollar cards and remember we're dealing with a set that has what 80 cards with 20 variants a hundred card set and now we're talking what the the winter factory candelabra in a workshop you have three high-end cards worth a hundred what four hundred and what eight nine hundred dollars raw and now you've got seven or eight cards worth 20 to 50 dollars now you've got another 10 to 20 cards that are worth more than a couple dollars a piece hello there's only a hundred cards in the set i just pretty much said 30 at least 30 of the hundred cards in the set now are having value and that's why things are changing i mean these cards used to be like what a penny a quarter something ridiculous so you know and that's what i see happening that's what I see continuing to change when you have goofy cards like these, which have been no value for 15 years, and now there's all of a sudden this new value, or you have prices changing. And when you have this stuff happen, that's why I feel that these boxes are severely, absolutely severely undervalued. And this is the part where everyone's going to go, Rudy, hashtag you're just completely lost your mind. Lay off the tacos. Because I'm going to call it right now, in September, not September, what is this, May? May of 2017, in my opinion, the box prices of these things are going to be well over $10,000, and then well over $15,000, then well over $20,000 in the future. I wouldn't be surprised if 10, 20, 30, 40 years from now, these things are twenty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a box. And I know it sounds hilarious, but I was also the same person that said, there's no way anyone's going to pay more than $1,000 for a booster box. And this was when I was in college about you know, early 2000s, I never thought these would be worth more than $1,000. And, you know, everything is relative. And I think we still haven't seen anything yet. I think the prices, scaling, and pretty much the relativity of everything, I don't think you all have seen anything yet. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I wanted to touch base with antiquities. It's been a little while. Antiquities. So I wanted to really hit you guys with a little bit of information, in my opinion, and a pretty much one of my favorite magic sets of all time. And Joe at DA Card World, I appreciate it. Sarah from eBay, uh, I really, really appreciate it. Absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for the amazing boxes and the quality of everything. I just really appreciate everything. And they're just, these things are absolutely beautiful. I mean, I, I just really, I really appreciate it, man. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Give me your comments below. Just be like, Rudy, hashtag, dude, lay off flopping yourself. 
But at the end of the day, may your taco always be floppy. Thanks for watching Rudy with Alpha Investments.